Hey, good morning, everybody. No, that's no good, because who knows when they're watching it. Hey, everybody. We're going to ride out to the Seba Motorcycle Museum in Warwick, Oklahoma today. We're all ready to roll. Todd's ready to go. Yeah, looking forward to that. And then we're probably going to hit Pops. It's a roadside attraction here off Route 66 in Oklahoma. It's a pretty cool place with features of all the kind of different soda you can think of. Okay, we're on Perkins Road. We're going to stop at Ampride. Back in the day when we lived here, we used to go there quite frequently. It's like a, a large gas station area where you can stop and get something to drink if you're hot or fill up like we normally do before we get on. Head to Route 66. Like I said in an earlier video, I absolutely love these roads. It's, it's freeing. Yeah, you don't have to deal with traffic. I know. Very, very, very little. Now I'm down to a quarter of a tank. Oh yeah, me too. I got less than that actually. I got two bars, whatever that is. Check this place out. Here we are at the SEMA Motorcycle Museum, right off Route 66 in Warwick, Oklahoma. I've been here several times before. It is pretty interesting to look at some old bikes. The people here are really friendly from what I remember, so we should go inside and take a look. Hello there. Hi. So how long have you been doing I've been, this? Uh, I've had the building for 14 years and I've been open as a museum for 12 now. It took a couple years to get it going and so oh, forth. Yeah. Hey Todd, did you see the movie Captain America? Yeah. i never seen it, I don't believe. Look at that, here's a, uh, a movie bike there. The hydro bike is built and written in the movie Captain America. I don't believe I saw that. Todd saw it though. How was that movie? Do you remember that it's bike? Good. It's good movie. Awesome. No, but I'm definitely going to watch it again watch so I can see it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is pretty interesting. This is a Honda Rune. came out in 2004. I've never seen one before. Uh, it says it costs Honda $100,000 to build this bike. That's an estimated cost, they say. But they sold for $27,000. What? What kind of business model is that? It is a beast, though. Look at that headlight. I know. Snow Rabbit. It's a motorcycle with a ski attached to it. Actually, two skis attached to it. So I don't really know how. How does it? How it's propelled? Yeah. It's built through. Oh look, there's a, a there's a looks oh, like this. Oh, it's got a track. Yeah, yeah, the snowmobile. How interesting is that? This little Triumph. Is this how clean it looks? I don't see the date on it, the year. Not everyone has a placard. It's just sweet looking. Here's an old Cushman scooter. Uh, these are wildly popular in the 50s and early 60s, from what I understand. Uh, I don't know really that much about them. Matter of fact, I never heard of them before I moved to Oklahoma. And a friend of mine actually bought one. And he was telling me how much he enjoyed the Cushman scooter. Because he had one when he was a teenager. So, pretty interesting to look at. I can't give you no tech specs because I don't know. A 91 Honda CR250 and an F5. Oh, that's from a tornado. Look at that. Yeah. It actually blew away a few look, miles. Look, there's wood. The wood gets stuck right in. Here's the gas tank and everything. That's tornadoes for you. Hey, check this out. 1979 Triumph Bonneville. Still in the original crate. Yes, I have never been out of my box. Imagine having that. Old, but new.
All right, let's look at an outhouse. This is the first plumbed outhouse in Lincoln County. Look at this thing. Looks like this place has seen better days. Yeah, well, look at the, uh, look at the commodity. Oh, whoa. And that's something. Gotta go pee? Back on the All road right. again! Alright folks, here we are on uh, historic Route 66 and somebody, a rider, recommended that we check out this somebody that has a whale here. So we may do that. It's not a real whale, a living whale, was it? I don't think so. They I mean, how can a whale yeah. live in somebody's pond? You know, yeah, think about I, I don't, yeah, I don't think know. Think about how <laughs> ridiculous it, that would be. You're right. I'm thinking it's probably some kind of theatrical whale. Yeah. Place to See, check out. Yeah, roadside attractions on Route 66. I guess it was a lot cooler back in the late 50s and early 60s. Well, because, you know, attractions were a bigger deal back then. Yeah, but it's still interesting that they have stuff like that today. This is oh, a round barn. barn. Okay, here we're entering this roadside attractor and restaurant known as Pops. Oh, motorcycle parking right there. Oh. That's cool. Soda. Cream, my people. It has liberating taste. Kim Jong Un. Terrorizing taste. Nuclear orange bomb. On a trip. Now this one here. With Stalin on it. Chernobyl brew. Secret KGB flavor. Real red soda. I don't know about you, it's just funny as hell to me. If they don't work for you, how about a gross Gus's people pop? Oh, that's so wrong. So wrong means it's so wrong. <laughs> it's so wrong. Uh, you want some of that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to look too Over here at Pot, something I always do when I'm making these videos, I forget to film the food every evening before I dig in it. So here, what'd you get, Donna? I got an amazing salad. That looks really good. Avocado, under there somewhere. I got the Edmund burger with sweet potato fries. Right. And you got pulled pork. Ooh. Slow smoke pulled pork. Love it. I guess I got a regular diet. Okay. okay, bon appetit. Yeah. Well, folks, we hope you enjoyed our trip down Route 66 in Oklahoma. Had a pretty good lunch there at Pops. It's an interesting little place to check out if you can find yourself in this part of the country. Anyway, please like and subscribe to J&D Motorcycles. And as always, ride safe out there and have an outstanding day.